So one of those really commonly asked questions is how do you create sticky navigation with Elementor Pro? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to achieve just that with no extra plugins. So let's just jump into the dashboard of WordPress and see how we can create our first sticky navigation. So I'm Paul C and this is WP Tuts, where I show you how to create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of our weekly new content as soon as it's added to the channel. Okay, so if we take a look at this demonstration site, you can see we've got a normal navigation at the top. We've got our logo on the left hand side and our menu on the right hand side. If we scroll down the page, you see that now stays in place and we can still use all those different options to interact with our website. The other thing to note is that this logo is actually pulled in from the theme that we're using. It's not fixed in place. If we want to change that, we can just update it in the normal fashion without the need to go back into any template inside Elementor. So let's see how we can do that. If I jump back over into the dashboard, I'm going to come down to Elementor and we're going to come down onto My Templates. Once we go to My Templates, you can see we've got a section at the top which gives us the ability to filter out all the different types of templates we've got created. We're looking to create a header. So we're going to click on Header. That'll filter it out. You can see now I've got my test header, which is what you've currently seen. But let's look at how we can recreate that. What we're going to do is we're going to click on Add New. That'll bring us into the new template option where we can choose where the template resides. In other words, is it a header or a footer or so on? And then we can give it a name. So header is fine. And we're going to do is we're going to call this my header 2018, just so I know what it is. We click on create a template and that'll take us into Elementor then in the way we'd normally expect. Now you can see that we've got a ton of predefined layouts. And if you've been using Elementor Pro for a little while, you'll see now there's a whole range more options available for you in here. All these are denoted pretty much by the pro symbol. So you'd have to have pro to access these. We're going to bypass that. We're going to create something completely new of our own. So what I'm going to do is click that to close that down. That's opened up the Elementor editor and we can now start creating the content that we want for our navigation. So let's go through and put the different building blocks we want in there. Now, if you've been working with Elementor for any amount of time, you're used to a lot of the Pro widgets, but there are a couple of new ones that have been introduced with Pro version 2. One of those is the logo that we can use. So what we're going to do is we're going to split this section. We're going to create a new section in there. We're going to split it into two parts. I'm going to use this 33, 72, whatever it is, or 77, I should say. Click on there, and that's now split it up. So we're going to use the logo on the left, and our main navigation is going to sit on the right-hand side. So we come to the logo, in, oh, sorry, come to the search the widgets. We're going to type in logo in there, and you can see we've got site logo. If we drag and drop that in, you can see this says site logo. It pulls in a default site logo for us. We've got some options then for how the image is displayed, any name we want to use in this. You can see at the moment it's saying full, but we can choose from any of the predefined sizes that we've got as part of WordPress or the theme that you're using. Again, we've got things like alignment, caption, custom URL. So what we can do is we could say we want that to go back to the root of our site if we want to, so we can put in whatever we want in there. For now, I'm not going to worry too much about that. I'll leave the style and advance and everything as it is. Come back out of there and we're going to come in to menu. We want the nav menu. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag that over, drop it over on the right hand side. And now we can go through and style that. So what we're going to do is we're going to select this column first of all. And we're going to make sure that everything is laid out the way we want. So the content position we're going to set to middle to make sure it sits in the middle no matter what size logo we've got in there. So if there's something square, it's going to make sure it just looks good. Next up, we're going to come over to the style and we're going to just make sure that everything is laid out the way you want. So that all looks pretty good. I'm not going to worry about background colors or anything for a moment. Select the menu option again to open up all the different tools. Set that to be right aligned so it sits over on the right hand side. Now, obviously, we can go through and we can style things like the hover effect, the different things like that. I'll leave that up to you. This is not what the tutorial is about. It's just how to create these. So what I do next is I'm just going to select the entire row and we're going to put our background color in there. So we're going to come over to style, come to the background type, click on the first option that gives us the little paintbrush, which is the classic option. We're going to set our color in there. Now I want this to be semi-transparent and with the design that I'm using, I've got a white background for where the navigation sits. So I'm going to choose white. I'm going to bring that down to probably about a third or a quarter of the way down. So it keeps just a little bit of the solidity of the white color that we're using. Again, do this whatever you want with your particular setup. So what we're going to do now is we've got all the basics in there. If we want to come back in and adjust anything, we can do that. Click on Publish. 
That's going to open up the display condition options, which again is something new in Elementor Pro 2.0. We're going to add a simple condition in. So we're going to click add condition. You can see it says include. We can click on the and say exclude if we want to as well. We're going to keep this really simple. Come down and we're going to say entire site. So this heading is going to apply. This navigation is going to apply to the entire site. Now you can see it says Elemental recognizes you've set this location for other templates, my header. So it gives you this little warning saying, well, you've already assigned something for this. And that's fine. We can leave that as is. We'll click on publish on there. And once we've done that, we're going to come back out of Elemental, go exit to dashboard. This will take us back into the template holder. Click update to make sure that everything is in place. Now I'm using Ocean WP as my theme. So you may find different themes will have different options just to make sure that everything is set up the way I want. I'm going to set this to be full width, disable any margins, and just click update on there just to make sure that I've got nothing that can cause a problem. Like I say, your template may be different. So once we've done that, we're going to come back over to Elementor and my templates. I'm going to come into the header that I created previously. I'm just going to turn that off from being the, I'm just going to delete it actually. That'll just make life a little bit easier. So we'll just bin that off so I don't have any conflicts in there. Okay, so we've done the first thing. We've set up that now. It's gone through. Our template is created and we set it to be applied to every single page. So if we now just jump over to our test page and refresh that to make sure we've got the version that we've just been working with, you'll see there's our heading. And if we scroll down, absolutely nothing happens. It stays in place. So why? Well, we've got to do one more little thing. So let's come back to our templates, go back in and edit it with Elementor. And we've got one simple switch that'll make this sticky. So what we're going to do is come back up, select our entire row, come over to the advanced section. And under advanced, you can see we've got scrolling effect. We're going to click on there and we've only got one option available and that is sticky. We'll click on that. We can now tell it, do we want this to be sticky on all devices, desktops, tablets, and mobiles, or we can disable it for different types of devices. I'll leave it with all three for now. Click update in there. I'm going to jump back over, refresh our page, and now scroll down the page, and you can see there's our sticky header with our semi-transparent background staying in place as we scroll down the page. Simple as that, really. Well, that pretty much wraps up how easy it is to create sticky navigation using Elementor Pro 2.0. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell icon to be notified every time we add new content to the channel. Don't forget to check out these other great videos, and if you'd like to support us, please consider using the affiliate links in the description below. It costs you no more money, but it helps add support for the channel. Well, until next time, take care.